Uh, thank you very much for being here and uh, in our human sexuality class and the last day. And uh, we have a guest lecture today, and uh, her name is Tiffany Nation, and she was uh, one of the stars in one of the segments of uh, Real Sex 32, which we actually the episode we showed uh, that was about the different um, uh, fetishes or different paraphilias or connection to paraphilias that we talked about, or atypical sexual behaviors, actually. And, uh, and uh, hers was dealing with fire. So uh, she happened to be in town today. So uh, I talked to her, and she was very happy to come by and uh, talk to you guys about uh, sexuality and how it fits into relationships, right? And we've just seen in this class that sexuality does not equal relationships, even though socially most of the people um, think it is because that's what we've been socialized to understand. So uh, um, everybody help me welcome Tiffany and she's going to talk to you for a little bit and then answer some questions afterwards, right? Sure. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I guess you guys all got to see my episode about HBO's Real Sex or 32. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was about pyrophilia, and that is definitely one of my personal fetishes. I love fire. Uh, not the only aspect of my personality. Of course, that would, that show focused on just one aspect. Um, I think there's probably a lot of aspects in my life that are covered that would be covered in this class. Um, I definitely have the pyrophilia fetish. But I also used to be a fetish MC. I've worked in BDSM. Um, you guys are familiar with that term, right? B is bondage. Um, B, B is for bondage. D is for dominance. Sadism, masochism. It's generally the little subculture where fetishes are explored. They're supported. It's okay. It's viewed as, um, as long as it's consensual, and there's an agreement between people, whatever you want, and you both agree, it's okay. <laughs> And I was a fetish MC for a long time. Um, I also, I am married um, to a man, my husband. Uh, we are polyamorous. Have you heard of that term? Yes. yes. Okay. We are in a polyamorous relationship. We're not swingers. There is a difference. We are polyamorous. And I am bisexual. My husband is straight. So, <laughs> I'm a very, and I am very open, and you can ask me anything, I'm not shy. I also am an, an advocate about sexual assault prevention. So, and I believe part of sexual assault prevention is communication, being honest about our needs or desires, being honest about what we want, being honest and listening to what others want, being honest about talking about things that maybe make us really, really uncomfortable. And this is, I'm really glad there are classes like this because, at one time, you know, even now, it can be really difficult to come out and say the whole list of things I just told you. I'm bisexual, I'm polyamorous, I have fetishes, I like to be spanked, I like to eat fire, I like to pay, play with fire. I have other partners, both male and female, and it's all consensual and good. So, um, so those are aspects of my sexuality, but of course that is a and that's, that's part of who I am, but it's not everything who I am, and it doesn't dictate my relationships. Um, and that's kind of where my marriage comes into play, because it's interesting. I'm married, I've been married for a year, but we've been together for about five years now. Uh, my husband is heterosexual. He is um, vanilla. <laughs> he doesn't really have any fetishes. But he is a very open-minded, kind soul, and he and I was upfront with him from the day I met him, saying I am polyamorous. I he already knew I was a fetish MC. He knew me by my reputation already, and he's always been open to saying you can explore whatever you want, and I am secure in who I am, and I am secure in who you are, and I do what you need to do. So we have our sexual relationship in our marriage, um, but also obviously I have my other fetishes that I explore with other people that don't necessarily involve sex. Um, I play with fire, I play with fire with all the people in that video, I've played with fire with other people. Um, very rarely, before I was married, it, it sometimes involves sex, but very rarely anymore does it involve sex. Usually, I'll do fire play with somebody else, I'll come home to my honey, he gets lucky. <laughs> you 
know, and that's good for us because it brings new energy. Um, I'll go to fetish events alone because it's not his thing. He really doesn't like it. You know, he went a few times, checked it out, said, eh, you have fun, go dress up, wear your robes, get spanked, whatever. But I go there, um, I enjoy that play. But it's not sexual, it's erotic, it's sensual, but it doesn't necessarily equate to sex for me. On the other hand, we also are polyamorous which means we are open to, if we want to explore a relationship, a sexual relationship, whatever, with another person who came on. My husband did have a girlfriend for 10 years. He actually knew her before he knew me. They had an on-again, off-again relationship. They figured out that they work much better just as friends with benefits, and I was, we were better as an actual married couple, um, and that was okay with me too. And I currently go on a date tomorrow night with a beautiful woman. <laughs> and that's okay with my husband, and I also have a playmate that I occasionally meet up with. But we are really important with our relationship that we know everyone, that we have a relationship. We're not just about having random sex with people. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's our personal choice. That's what works for us. And we have rules about safety. You guys have all talked about STDs. Obviously, that's very, very important to us. We want to make sure we're healthy. Safe. And so we have very strict rules about protection, what we do, how we are tested, who is tested, what, what we can and cannot do. What is my philosophy of sexuality as part of a relationship? Um, I view, personally, all relationships are important, whether I am your friend, whether I am your teacher, whether I am your lover, whether I am your spouse. All relationships are really, really equal to me. And then there are new levels of trust in that. And that